Because I Love You is the third studio album released by Lizzo. Let me lay out the facts as to why I'm reviewing this album at all and right now. The Grammys are coming up. I feel they are one of the few actual awards that mean something in the world of entertainment. I know they're not perfect, but they're pretty awesome still. This album is nominated for Album of the Year. I have reviewed four of the albums of this year. I thought there are four others. Maybe I can squeeze in a little time to review the others. I originally didn't review this one because it didn't really interest me for some reason. I wasn't a fan of the album cover. This is zoomed in. I felt that this one was getting a little bit more attention than I expected. So here I am. I've given this a few listens. Believe I'm being very thorough. And I have to tell you how much I disagree with this nomination and the message of this album. Okay, so where to start? Uh, there's so much I don't like. And also, I am a little surprised of the things that I do find somewhat redeemable. So I have to try and figure out how to objectively talk about this album while also trying to emphasize the points that I think are going over people's heads and that need to be realized from art perspectives in general, not just music. Okay, so I guess let's start at the top, the basics, and somewhat central idea of the idea of this album. This is kind of a shameless, quote-unquote, woman's empowerment album. I have to strongly object to that idea. This has nothing to do with empowering a woman. This is everything to show that a woman can be just as vulgar, as snarky, as crazy, as bombastic as any male artist out there. Maybe in her own twisted way, she decided that's exactly what I want to get across as well as the empowerment part. From at least this point, this is a self-righteous and virtue signaling album concept. It is not good and it is not positively influential on people who really could use a message or at least decent music to listen to. Last year I had a huge issue with Cardi B's album. That is slightly different because that was a very pure hip-hop album not pure as in the pureness of hip-hop but it was straightforward in the sense that that was the genre it was going for this is kind of an r&b kind of hip-hop and slight pop central centric kind of album that's what its audience kind of target I means somewhat is and it can resonate with some people However, I don't think it's actually providing the correct influence on how to address the topics that might seem somewhat important to some people or actually creating a forward-moving conversation. It feels like it's just a smackdown. Lizzo has basically become the smack talker, WWE, WWF, whatever you want to call it, of the R&B realm right now of 2019 and she's trying to smack down anyone who's going to dare to say that what she's doing is not that great or that the subjects she is addressing are praiseworthy this is not it isn't now again i don't believe that every woman out there needs to be the most prim perfectly delicate, ladylike female out there. I like some women that have spunk with them. I like women that have character. I like women that have dreams. I like women who actually have real strength to them. I wish we could see that in the actual art in this industry. We're not seeing that from as many that are getting this much spotlight. And so far, I don't know how much of this is actually coming off as maybe the 
subject she might want to have addressed that has been newsworthy recently. I'm mostly talking about just her narrative, not her music, not her lyricism, her narrative that she is pushing. No. Now, to talk about where the value is in her music. Firstly, kind of along the same lines, for a good chunk of the songs, the very first verse immediately is captivating because she chooses to just drag us in with the vulgarity that she can just smack you with. She's showing that she ain't someone to mess with, right? No. Pathetic to use this kind of stuff. Come on, have some imagination and create lyrics. We get down into more topics where we talk about self-love. Let's try to actually get some self-respect before we do self-love. People are always focusing on that, and it is so selfish right now. Start serving some others while knowing how to keep self-respect, self decency, some inner dignity. And remember, when I talk about this, I'm talking about the music that's here. What she does outside of this music, maybe she does fantastically better things out there. I'm not really sure. I don't consider myself one of her followers. If she does fantastically charitable things, terrific, beautiful, wonderful for her. But in this album, if it is at all like that, this is a horrible misrepresentation of that, okay? Let's get that in there. I'm talking about the album. Then we just get songs like Tempo with Missy Elliott that's just like unnecessarily graphic for the brain. We get songs like Exactly How I Feel with Gucci Mane, which is underwhelmingly basic. Better in Color is just kind of awkward because it talks about licking. And I don't know if it's really talking about color or vagueness, to be honest. Heaven Help Me. That's the song, by the way. Heaven Help Me. Uh, she uses Say What a lot, and it just feels so unmusical. Uh, we have a song in here called Lingerie. Now, that's not something I would talk about, even in my closest circles. It actually starts out okay. I was very hesitant to listen to this song, but it starts out okay. And then when we start getting into the second verse, this is where it starts getting kind of progressively convoluted. And it's just, it, it, cho it chooses to become uncomfortable. The song Truth Hurts. Uh, this is just noisy garbage. Okay, so if you got that part out, I'm still going to end something that might sound more negative. I did find some positives, not very redeemable positives, but I will give it to them nonetheless because that is the kind of person I am. That's the kind of reviewer I will uphold myself to. Let's talk about that. A lot of these songs, not all of them, but a lot, have some decent beats in here. Juice, the best part of it is the hook, and so that one is does actually have some catchiness to it, so I get it, but the whole song is not just finished together in a good sense. The beat of tempo is actually fine, as well as exactly how I feel. These are like danceable beats that I wish we could just change the lyrics or switch out an artist and then change the lyrics. Very last song, Water Me. This is a good one because this is a break beat. This is one I would get down to like, get down to, and yes, I can get down to that. Test me, I dare you. And then there's plenty others that are just fine, okay? But some of them do not measure up. Some of them are just kind of there to be a beat. So the production from the entire album's value isn't complete. Plenty of it is fine, and I'm happy about that. But along with the lyrical value to it, or lack thereof, and the lack of creativity as well, and the messages that is very misleading and false. This will not uphold to the standard that she hopes to keep forward moving for the audience it is supposed to aim for and represent. This album is getting praised by so many, and I don't understand it. 
I know what people in the higher powers of the music industry are feeling about this because they want to get something out that is empowering. And I get it. I want people who feel uncomfortable like she might in her position, maybe secretly. But at the same time, it's not the actual solution to the problem. It actually is going to devastatingly cause worse reactions. And because that is the actual nature of it, it degrades the value of this art form, or at least in this album. A lot of people are making this out to be a big thing, a very big positive thing, and then you could just walk up and tell everybody to step aside. Not when you make music like this. This is embarrassing. This is the anti-role model of what the entertainment industry is shoving down other people's minds, ears, throats, etc. Overdramatic? I can see why you would think that maybe, but because of all that influence, I don't think it's enough to be honest. If you enjoy this music for the production value, that's all right. I won't strongly disagree with that. I disagree with it a little bit, but to value the messages in this album is below dignity. So after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 71%, creativity 50%, Expression and lyrics, 34%. This album gets a no. So there's an old saying that is played a lot in movies and other forms of media. The phrase, it's all about the music. This had nothing to do with the music. This had something to do with boosting someone up and selling other people on the idea that they could get a piece of the cake with it. Yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to subscribe and follow all the social media for this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time. Go listen to some better music, okay? Go listen to something uplifting, something inspiring. <laughs> Please, go do that.